So all we need to do for the time being is just put down the foundation. So we're basically clearing out another area for production. And it's going to be solely for the copper... What's its face? Copper powder. And I really don't like these bushes that cannot be chainsawed or picked up or dealt with in any way. So I'm just going to clear out this area for the time being and then put down some foundations. You know what, maybe I can build like a hypertube network if I just move it to that line over there. That way the entrance will be next to the same hypertube line that goes towards the caterium. This is a lot of work. Like, this is always a lot of work, but I have to do it. Right. I guess I don't have to strictly do it, but I have to do it just to clean up the area. We still have a lot of inventory space, so it's okay, we're fine. And I think we're going to have to get rid of these berry bushes. I guess we'll have to pick these up as well. Wait, there's another copper ore node. Damn, I didn't even see that. And it's also a pure node. You know what, I'm just gonna take it. So there's like three copper ore nodes here. In fact, I probably should scan the area again. Yeah, it has to be three. Well, all right then. So I'm going to have to get another three miners because I want to exploit all three of these. Probably should check our power levels. Yeah, it's still at 100 and yeah, we are producing enough. Okay, so let's get another three of these. Okay, then we will put... Uh, where are you? MK Miner 3. Move it this way. And then we'll hook up the power later on. Alright, so goodbye, berry bushes. Damn, I can't believe I didn't see that. It should be obvious, but it wasn't. Crouching other people's clearances! Alright, fine. So how big do I want this? Oh, the answer is as big as it needs to be. Probably need to... 
Get out of the way, birds. build the foundations this way. I'm gonna have to replace these power poles. Build this up quickly. Now put the power pole here. And then we can replace this power pole over here and that power pole over there. Unless I did it wrong. Nope, we're good. Okay, so I'm gonna have to build foundations in this direction, get rid of this. Connect this like so. So now we have power lines going this way, and then we can just deal with this. And we will need to take out this bacon. Guess I'll take this then. Okay, get rid of these carapaces. Get rid of all of the biomass down here. Okay, I think I already cleared this area. Yeah, everything's good now, so we can start filling this in. Oh, there's bush here. And I'll just cut you up. I need to remember that I put a, uh, what's his face? Uh, the concrete in the chest near the iron ore nodes. I need to go back for that. I need to fly up now. Let's fill this in. I think that's it. Oh, we do need to fill in this spot over here. Get rid of this quartz. I do need to double check how much uh, copper ore that recipe needs. But with pure nodes, I think we should be fine. And if it's underwhelming, I can just overclock. In fact, I could probably support four uh, foundries, not three, for each copper node. And what's this? Oh, we got a pure limestone node.
And you know what? This bush can stay here for the time being. Just clear out this brush near the foundries. There's another bush, berry bush over there. Let's go take you. Okay, I really don't want to spend too much time on the foundations here, so... Oh, but... I'm running out of concrete already. Okay, so, what I want to do... Let's just finish this up. Okay, let's get rid of this stuff here. All this biomass, we don't need it. And we can get rid of this quartz here. And I will take back my sheets. Let's go get our concrete. I'm just gonna go through these power lines. So I can fly. We should have like two stacks of concrete still. Yeah, there we go. The circuit boards can stay in there. I really don't care about them. I'm wondering how long those circuit boards have been in my inventory because I don't remember picking them up. They really shouldn't have been in there. Uh, anyway, let's go fill this in. I need to chainsaw this. Okay, I need to get out of here. Alright. We should have enough space for everything. We'll get this just for good measure. And I'm also going to put a ramp down here. Just in case. Alright, so I think this is how we're gonna do. You know what, let's do the math real quick. So this would be I believe 480 per minute. Yeah, 480 per minute. And then the copper ingots. Actually, it doesn't say here, but... We'll do a foundry like right here and look at the recipe. So it's gonna take 50 per minute. So 480, we can overclock it to like 500. We're at 50, 100, 150, 200. So we can actually support like eight. Eight of these just on one of these things. So three of them just might be overkill if you think about it. So I'm thinking we should probably downclock these. Use all three of them, downclock it. Now for. For these foundries, let's increase it to 12. And we still have enough resources, so okay. Plan is now to use 12. Uh, wh where are we going? Okay, so... I'm gonna use this. Try to get as much room in here as possible for the sorting... Logistics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. 11. Oh, damn. Okay, three more foundations. We actually need less than that, but just a little bit of a buffer. And there's still monsters down below. Let's just ignore them for now and then just finish our foundries. Oh, really? You know what? Come here. You can't reach me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. And we'll get rid of this. Okay, so 12 foundries, right? I'm just gonna put the power poles here first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm just going to put this like here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, these miners can definitely support more, but I think for our purposes, 12 should be sufficient, I guess. Uh, I am going to do this. I think we'll put the copper on the bottom floor and the... Uh, the what is the other, that other resource? Iron ore on the top. Yeah. I totally know what I'm talking about. Okay, now we put the splitters bottom floor. Okay, that's four and then eight goes here. And then the last four goes here. You know, I probably should hook this up to power. Because this way, I can at least use the hover pack. I mean, that would make sense. And you might, I'm going to put the power line like right here. You can disconnect this. Connect it like so, and then we'll use this power pole to connect over here. Yeah, there we go. That makes lots of sense.
And then we'll just hook it up like so. Okay, that's second group. And here's the third group. There we go. So we got three entry points. Now we just need to bring the iron ore over here. And basically we need to split two into three. I'm thinking let's go and cut these things down. Get more bacon. We okay, cut these down. Probably should take a little bit of this area off since we're here. And get this shell here. Okay, I think that's it. What about this thing? Yeah, I knew I could pick you up. Oh, let's cut you down too. Okay, so let's fill this in with foundations. I think we can put our splitting logic in here. First, let's connect these things. Make sure we have enough room to do splitting logic. Uh, let's see here. We'll connect it this way first. And then we'll put splitters. Or you know what? Let's put this like so. This way we can put the splitters like right here and then merger can go like right here. So this one can go here and then on the other side there. So pretty much split these into two lines. Now we just need to make sure that we can get it over there. So I'm thinking Let's do this Okay, this is No, it doesn't go there. Um, goes here. Two, 
two, three. So I'm thinking this third line, we'll just go up top here and flow like that. And then we just bring these two lines over here like so. Come on. Then we do this. Make it go up a little bit. And then feed it into here. Okay, now we split this off. Break it here. And then you put a splitter like over here and you do that there we go all right let's do this next one this time we're gonna fly and see that it is much easier when you're flying You split over here, here, put the splitter here, here, and there we go. The iron is now going into all of these things. Probably should like set the recipe now. All that's left is to bring the copper ore into these things. And we can just feed it in like so. Doesn't need to be too complicated. Let's just do this. Probably should get on the ground floor. Okay, so... I'm gonna bring it over here in this direction. There we go. There is one 